This is Viome, a test kit that comes in the mail that claims to use advanced RNA-based testing for your microbiome so that you can address the root causes of your problems to support overall well-being and longevity. With many diagnostic tests on the market these days and all sorts of different companies that are claiming that they can change your life and massively improve your health, I'm gonna put this one to the test, give you my full and honest review so that you can make an informed decision to see if this is right for you and ultimately have the best information available to improve your health and solve any problems that you might have. Viome offers three different types of tests that you can purchase online. The most comprehensive is the full body intelligence test and then they have their gut health intelligence test oral health intelligence test, and finally, their cancer detect test. I went ahead and grabbed the full body intelligence test here, and it's broken down into three parts or three different samples that you'll collect for yourself and then send back to the lab. So you've got your saliva sample, you've got your blood sample, and lastly, and the most enjoyable, is the good old stool sample. Yep, that's right. Scoop a little poop, send it to the lab. Fun stuff. Once you've sent in your samples, you'll get your results delivered in two to three weeks electronically through their app. So now it is time to register my test kit here using their app and then following the simple instructions, I'll collect all of the samples. I've already collected my stool sample and I won't be showing you any of that for obvious reasons. So let's get into the saliva and blood sample. The instructions they give you are super self-explanatory and easy to follow, so I won't be showing you a step-by-step. -step. Uh, plus they provide easy videos to watch for demonstrations if you need extra help. I'm going through now to collect my samples and then send all of this in the mail. I'll check back in once the results are in and I'll share the insights, let you know how much I like the process, how valuable I think the insights are and everything that they measured and ultimately whether or not I think it's worth the three to $400 price tag. Okay, we're back one month later with the results. We're gonna dive in here, got everything back. By the way guys, part of my research into Viome is to find a gut diagnostic test that I can use with my clients. So we'll see if this one is going to make it into my Helix protocol. So if you're a guy that wants to increase your testosterone naturally, improve your energy levels and build a strong physique, then go ahead and watch my other video here where I go over my Helix protocol in depth and see if you might benefit from it. All right, back to the results. So I got some emails uh, from Viome, basically about them receiving my sample. And I was kind of just like waiting for them to say, okay, like your results are ready, view now, click here to view now. And they never really did. They just sent me emails about like using their app. So I eventually just signed on after somewhat forgetting about it and then saw my results reflected in the app. Also, I will note here that you can sign into your account using the app, you can do desktop, laptop, see your results that way too. So that's nice, whatever you prefer. I think the online version is maybe a bit easier to read. So I signed in here and then I scrolled down and first saw a few summarization metrics, okay? Which essentially told me down here, right? That I have six scores in need of improvement. And then below that, I saw that I had 15 foods to avoid here, um, which is pretty good to be honest. Like most of the foods on the list, I don't eat anyways, um, except for like eggs, which I saw on there, which is honestly a heartbreaker because I eat like four to six day eggs every single day. And so Viome is basically telling me here that eggs and egg whites um, contain ovalbumin, which is likely to increase inflammation and may worsen my inflammatory score. Okay, that's incredibly vague. And then it provides two studies down here to look into. So I actually had a look at these previously. Um, and the first study was just really like measuring the changes of the skin of mice when this ovalbumin was applied directly to the skin. And then it found that there was like more inflammation and noticeable changes to the skin after that. That was it. I'm like, hmm, okay. Duly noted, I guess I will stop rubbing eggs all over the surface of my body then. I'm really gonna miss that. <laughs> the other study fed ovalbumin to mice and then studied the changes in their microbiome and found that there was like a slight, what was it, a slight change and a decrease in one type of a probiotic they found in the gut. But the conclusion wasn't a very strong one and I'm not gonna give up eggs. Like my takeaway here is that like if I was struggling massively with a digestive issue, which I have in the past, but right now I'm doing really well, I would maybe try eliminating eggs or any of the foods on this list here um, that they tell me like might worsen my gut or digestive issues just to kind of see if that helps. Um, I can tell you for myself, 
as someone that eats day eggs daily, that I've had many periods of time here. I click on see all foods so we can kind of see these are the, the no fly foods, the avoid foods. I'll click on this. But anyways, I've had many periods of digestion, which was like seemingly perfect while eating eggs. I've also had times where I'm like completely destroyed while eating eggs. So it doesn't really seem to be the issue for me. Anyways, I'm not super impressed with that recommendation. Moving on, um, it then shows me that I have 28 superfoods. Let me toggle off avoid foods. So 28 superfoods here, um, which is pretty cool. Among them, I was pleased to see that some of my favorite fruits on there, like pineapple and oranges are actually on there. If I scroll down here, yep, there's pineapple there. Um, and then the other thing for protein was that it said that different types of fish and then turkey meat are actually the best for me, which is interesting because that's very different from how I currently eat, which is currently eating red meat and some chicken. And then I do see an exhaustive list here of enjoy foods. So super long list here of enjoy foods, which are seemingly just a common, you know, it's just a list of tons of different whole foods that I should enjoy. And looks like the reasoning behind each of these, like if I click on a lot of that, it's just like, Number one, they're whole foods and they're non-processed, which is great. Um, they have low blood sugar response and then they help just get like diversity into the diet as well as they don't have anything in here that would like directly cause my body problems based on the analysis that they did. So that's cool. Um, these aren't like super specific and tailored towards me, but it is nice to have such a massive like exhaustive list of whole foods to eat because to be honest, like most of the time, uh, I, yeah, right, I go to the store and I'm just buying the same thing every single time. And it's mainly just because of habit. It's not because I don't like any of these foods on the list or I ca can't digest them well. It's just I don't buy them. So maybe maybe what will be cool is like referencing this list every once in a while will give me some more like inspiration to go for, you know, some more diversity in the diet. All right. And then if we scroll back to the top here, we do have a list of minimized foods. So these are foods to eat less often due to them either being like high FODMAP, which is a very weird acronym. Um, you can see high FODMAP right here. I'm not even going to spell that out for you, but it's basically the scoring method that tells you how problematic a food is if you have gut issues or problems digesting food. And foods that are considered high FODMAP are marked here as that, as a food to minimize. And then I also see here on some of these foods, like you want to avoid them due to the presence of oxalates. Like, let's see, some of them here, they just say like presence of oxalates, right? High in oxalates right here, which according to my gut is just not ideal. So that is Taylor. Um, also foods here uh, that are gonna be listed on minimize are ones that have a poor, a poor blood sugar response or may just upset, uh, upset digestion. So these ones are tailored specifically to me. So that's cool, I like that. Um, and then going back to like the avoid foods here at the top, I clicked on this one here, down here, which is peanuts, because I do like peanuts uh, and use using peanut butter powder sometimes. And it said that it contains agglutinin right here. Um, and then it also has these studies. So, it, you know, it also says here it might cause inflammation and worsen your inflammation score, which again, like the eggs, is super vague. And then the two studies here, I looked at them that are left here, they're just irrelevant. One was talking about identifying like a major like peanut allergy, as you can see over here. And then the other study was talking about grains and didn't even mention peanuts anywhere in the study. So definitely a flop there. Uh, key takeaway is that these recommendations, don't take them at face value uh, because I've seen some of them be pretty off. Um, okay, so just keep that in mind. You might have to do a little bit of extra digging. And then if we go back to home here and then I scroll down, we've got some health scores down here. So if I go to health scores and then I press the see all button, you're given these eight health scores on the left here and then you're scored between one and 100. So you've got like gut health, inflammation response, biological age, and, and some other ones as well. And like quick side note on biological age, which is kind of crazy, is uh, this sucks, it says I'm 27 when I'm actually 26. And on some other previous biological age tests that I took, it told me that I was like three years younger than my actual age. But I mean, it's all good. I was actually sick at the time of taking the tests and doing my collections. 
So they said that might affect the results, but you know, I kind of just couldn't wait when I had this package. So I just did it. And I've also heard like some of the main critiques with the biological age test is that they're more of like a snapshot in time versus a true age, if you will. Meaning that like based on the level of health that you exhibit at the time of collecting your sample, it may give you a totally different score than potentially if you like collected one sample and then seven days later and you lived like a more unhealthy lifestyle, you ate like shit, didn't sleep well, and then you collected a sample again, it would tell you that you're a different age or that you're older. So I don't know. I think a lot more progress and research needs to be done with the biological age test. This one and probably some other ones from other companies as well. Okay, and then over here on the right, you're given a ton of these functional scores here as well, like dental health, vascular health, and then some of these get pretty complicated, like mitochondrial biogenesis pathways and things like that that I don't really know. And you're getting a score here that ranges from not optimal to good. Maybe it goes as high as great as well, but I didn't see any that were rated as great, so I'm just gonna assume that good is like the highest one. Um, and the interesting thing to see here is that they tell you where you're at and then they also tell you like how many other Viome users right down here are in the similar percentile. So for like oral health, uh, for example, let's see. Well, oral health was like, you know, there's a bunch of different ones for oral health, but then this one over here on, yeah, this one says good. This is my highest score at 70 out of 100, which I'm told is good. I'm also told that 21% of the Viome population scored good as well. So it tells you like what a good score is and then what like a bad score is or a not optimal score. But what it doesn't do though, is it doesn't give you like any insight into like how they came up with the score. And then secondly, any recommendations to improve. Um, and then the functional scores are basically the same way, pretty much like it tells me down here that my serotonin promoting microbes um, is not optimal right here yet it doesn't provide me really any help as to like how I can address that. So I guess maybe their angle here is to just have people take their custom supplement res you know, recommendations as the fix to all these issues rather than like check out alternative solutions. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense considering that they are a supplement company too, but it's not ideal for folks like me that want more insight or ideas on how to improve outside of just taking the supplements. Uh, well, I mean, I actually take that back because I guess for some of these here, you do get like, like here, I think I did get like a very mild recommendation. Let's see here, like, replacing some animal-based foods with plant-based protein and incorporating probiotics to rebalance the gut. Yeah, so like here and also with vitamin D, I got like a very slight, like small recommendation. It's just kind of hit or, met, hit or miss on these, whether you get a recommendation or not. And they're not that detailed anyways. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then if you go to choose from the custom su supplement recommendations, like if I go back to here and I say shop my custom formulas, you can see here you get offered three types down here on the left side. You get precision supplements, you get precision probiotics and prebiotics, and then you get these oral lozenges. And then if you go for all three, it's 200 bucks a month, which is honestly pretty fucking high. Like to think you're gonna get 200 bucks, you know, charged every single month to stay on all this. I mean, maybe if it's really working, that's definitely worth it. Um, or you can choose up here, like you can just choose to do one or you can choose to do any combination of two of them. And then that's gonna range you from 60 bucks a month all the way to like 160 bucks a month if you get two of them. And then obviously 200 for the full. So to kind of conclude on my thoughts on Viome and really the full body intelligence test here, is I'll say that it's definitely a useful tool that was honestly a fun experiment to do. It was super user friendly. It was easy to do as far as actually collecting samples from the comfort of your own home, which is pretty cool. Uh, the results did, do take like two to four weeks to get back. So just make sure to kind of plan on that. Now the platform and the app is pretty easy to navigate as well. At first I was just like a little bit lost kind of on this home screen here. Uh, but I mean, that's just literally every platform ever when it's your first time using it. And I think the recommendations are decent, to be honest. Like I said, I definitely still had to fact check some of the avoid foods and some of the things that were recommended to me. And I found a couple that were total bogus in my opinion. So you can't really take the recommendations at face value. So if you want the best action steps for yourself, just do a little extra digging on what they tell you and you should be good. 
Other than that, the health scores were somewhat helpful, but nothing given was very actionable here. And then the functional scores uh, were definitely more helpful because what I'll probably do is I'll probably take the six, um, the six scores that is like the six health profile scores that I need improvement of. And then I'll just do research on my own to figure out how to improve those as I'm not really given much direction within the actual app or the website here. I've actually decided to not purchase their supplements right now. And that's mainly because I feel really good. I'm incredibly healthy right now. And I feel the best that I've felt in a long time, if not the best that I've ever felt. So I don't have a lot of pain or digestive problems that I'm looking to fix right now. But in the future, like if I have some issues and I'm really curious to see how well their supplement protocol works, I'll definitely come back and give it a try. So I would say that this Viome, this whole process is best suited for two types of people. Okay, so person number one is someone who's not feeling healthy, is maybe very uncomfortable or noticing some serious digestive issues and they're looking for some clarity and a pretty simple fix where you can just like take their supplements and you don't care, you know, you don't care too much to do like a deep dive. Okay, person number two, someone who's more like myself, who is using this as more of a tool to highlight areas that will guide me into doing further research for optimization. Okay, I'd say the other test, which are less expensive, like if you look over here, I can show you if I scroll down, they have different tests. They have the full body, the health, the gut intelligence test. I would say those are more worth the money. Um, and if you've like got some serious issues or you've got some cash flow to spend a little bit into your research, definitely makes sense. But if I had to do it over again, I would just go for the health test instead of the full body intelligence test because this one will do gut health plus cellular health. And then if I was like just struggling from digestive issues, I would just go for the gut health one down here. That's just because it's less expensive. I didn't really get a lot of value out of the oral health diagnostics, but that's just me. If you have some like dental issues or some gum health, you know, things you want to check, or maybe you're a smoker, someone that's used tobacco, dip, et cetera, something like that, you might want to check that out. Anyways, if you want to pick up one of these tests, I left a link in the description for you to use. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you found any of this super helpful, consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. And again, if you are a guy who is an entrepreneur or crushing it in business, and you really want to take your health to the next level, increase your testosterone naturally, gain more focus and energy, and increase your performance in and out of the gym, then watch this other video for me that I'm gonna link over here for you. It's gonna show you exactly how I increase my T by over 400 points naturally using my Helix protocol. That's it, I will see you on the next one.